Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another video with me. If you're new here, my name is Amy and I have been on a weight loss journey for the last couple of years following the starch solution and using the principles of calorie density. And I want to show you how I do that most days, day in, day out, um, as a busy mum of two, how I can put simple habits in place to make this work for me. So I know I haven't filmed in quite a long time and I'm sorry about that. Um, we've been away, obviously. Uh, we went camping at an incredible vegan festival called... Um, crops not shops down in Glastonbury and it was amazing we had such a good time however it is nice to be home obviously I've just dropped Abe off at school which always feels strange when we've been on holiday because I miss him so much <coughs> oh, we're gonna you're gonna help mommy clean so I want to show you what we're up to today I've come back with vigor as always and Romy has come back squeaky as always not food related, but I know you guys like to see some different stuff sometimes. So I want to show you what I have in store this morning. So I walked in the house. James has been busy doing other stuff. And I realized my house is a, a pigsty, a complete and utter pigsty. So I've decided over the course of the next week, I'm going to go to town on each room individually because it's ridiculous and I've not been prioritizing it. So this room is my first room. Um, I also want to set Abe up an arts and crafts station as well because he loved the arts and crafts um, activities that we did while we were away. So I'm going to try and do a little arts and crafts station over here for him. So anyway, I'm very excited. But yes, hopefully next time I show you this room, it will be beautifully transformed and I will have organised all this stuff. So let's see. Also, it goes without saying that as soon as I woke up this morning, we got back super late last night, I made some millet and I've soaked some chickpeas. So... I haven't done a meal plan, but I know I'm going to need those two things. So I'll do a little bit of a meal plan with you today and maybe a bit of shopping. Um, but as soon as I got back, I prepped some starch because that is the stuff that I really need. I have no potatoes. Otherwise, I would have steamed some potatoes as well, obviously. So I'm sorry that the washing machine is on, but I have a mountain of clothes that need washing. So I apologize. Um, OK, so Romy and I are going to have a very, very simple but yummy, hopefully, breakfast. So let me show you. Rom, tell me about that. Ah, good girl. See that. So my plan is, so we actually don't have any oats at all. We've run out of oats, I need to do a massive order with loads of oats and grains and things. And my mom was saying, why don't I buy millet and quinoa flakes, which is basically their equivalent of oats, and then use that to make porridge to get some amazing variety and some good healthy stuff, extra protein for the kids. Um, so I'm gonna order that. But right now I've got loads and loads of millet. I've got, it's, um, it's kudo millet, which is a little bit different, but it's very, very yummy. It's a little taste. Um, num, 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 num. So I'm going to do us kind of like a Gregor style kudo millet and chickpea sweet bowl. And I'm going to do some frozen fruit. I've got no fruit. Um, and I'm also going to make myself kind of like a, like a banana milk is what I was thinking. I've got some frozen bananas and I might put some chickpeas in the banana milk or have it on the side. I'm not really sure. I'm wanting it kind of cold and like with frozen berries and stuff. So that's the vague concept. Let's see how it plays out. I'm not quite sure. No, no. Okay, so first the banana milk. Okay, so if I remember correctly, these bananas are super sweet and delicious. So I'm just doing like one banana worth at the moment. I don't think I'm going to need too much more. Do you want to be my special helper? Yeah. Okay, so we've got one banana in here. Okay, I'm throwing in some cinnamon. I'm going to do some water. Maybe like one and a half cup of water or something. Right, let's blitz this. Oh, hold on. I am actually going to put some chickpeas in. There you go. Pour it in. Okay, we've got a banana and half a cup of chickpeas. Bear with me on this one. Okay. I don't know where this is going to work. Let's see. Oh, oh, yes. Love. Oh, my God. That's a great milk. Oh, Romy, do you want to taste? Banana and chickpea milk. What do you think, babes? Nice. <laughs> she wasn't sure. I highly recommend that just as a delicious Mama. beverage in and of itself. You could go chalky. Oh my God. Mama. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Yeah. Right, I've got one sad looking apple, so I'm just gonna chop this up. Yeah, I've eaten so many apples on this holiday. It's actually ridiculous. I think I might've had because that was my, one of my low calorie density options um, that my mum bought loads of. She was in charge of bringing the fresh stuff and I love apples, so I'm so excited. But yeah, I think I literally had about 10 apples a day. 
um, and I'm still not bored of apples. I could eat an endless, endless supply of apples. So here we go, we have more apples. Okay, so we've got one cup of Kudo Millet. I am feeling blueberries today, so we're gonna go in with some blueberries. Then we're gonna top it with our, oh, our milk. Amazing. And a bit more cinnamon. So there we go. That is gonna be breakfast this morning. An odd one, but I promise you it's very, very yummy. Great way to mix up some grains, and if you don't really fancy something like a hot porridge, and honestly, this milk is very, very yummy. Get the beans in, get the grains in, get the low calorie density fruit in, ticks all the boxes. I, if I had cucumber, I would also put some cucumber in here because I really fancy that. I don't have any, so it's all right. Mm. Mm. So Robbie and I have taken a very long break. We did a bit of sorting, but the room is now a tip. It always looks worse before it gets better, right? Um, then Romy had a sleep, I had a work call. She's then been asleep and I've been doing some more work, blah, 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 blah. It's quarter past one and we are hungry. I was just editing my YouTube video where I made the uh, cauliflower ice, banana ice cream and I was thinking to myself, holy muffins, I could eat some ice cream immediately and I wanna do it chocolate style. Um, it is a very, very cold and rainy day and I've been wearing my jumper the most of the time, but I still want to eat ice cream because why would I not want to eat some ice cream? I also have not really had water for a very long time, so I am making myself a lovely warm cup of water, which doesn't sound appetizing, but I actually find it so delicious now. It's amazing what you get used to over time. I used to be obviously a major tea addict, but the water is just beautiful. I feel like I'm having a tea, but I don't have the like after side effects of feeling all dehydrated, you know? Weight loss is a process and health is a process. You do not have to do it all in one go, but over the course of time, you can continue to make little improvements, make do things that are the easiest to you so it doesn't feel overwhelming. Like I didn't do tea when I first started out. That's not, that has nothing to do with weight loss. That's more of a health thing for me. Um, but over the course of time, that's when you can start to implement and make different changes. Um, and there'll probably still be loads of changes that I'll make in the future. So uh, let's just see. Anyway, I'm gonna film this uh, over for Instagram. So basically I'm putting in about five bananas, a cup of cauliflower and some cocoa powder. And I'll show you what it looks like in a second. So this messy masterpiece is our chocolatey ice cream. And I tell you what, it is so delicious. Mm. Mm -mm. No PB2 needed. No dates needed. I don't know why I was hung up on the PB2. You can do it without it, guys. And the cauliflower, yeah. you think so, Rose. <laughs> and the cauliflower is amazing because it is like, most of it gets blended, but then there's like tiny little chunks and it feels like you're having a chocolate yeah. chunk. It really does feel like a Ben and Jerry ice cream yeah. with a chocolate chunk. Like, it's just yeah. amazing. Mm. Yeah. I don't know if you can see. It's like oh. tiny little mini chunklets. Oh, I'll tell you what, you could do a mint choc chip. This would be like a mint choc chip. Just few, a few little drops of mint. Oh my God, I should have done that. Wow, Roms, you're going for it. Oh, <laughs> she's so happy. What do you think? Oh my gosh, you're going to drop it. Mm. Anyway, we're going to go and share this. That's going to be lunch. Okay, so absolutely delicious, but for some reason I got super full. So anyway, I've got some left over. Now I'm gonna stick it in the freezer. I know banana ice cream is not great when it goes in the freezer. It kind of obviously goes super, super firm. However, Abel still appreciate it when he gets back and I'll tell him they're like cookie chunks or something. So anyway, I'm gonna pop that in and then Romy and I are gonna to get to sorting out the front room once more because I really wanna do a workout and I need the front room space to do that workout. So, I'll show you where I am so far. Wild Romy, hopefully she'll be helpful. So I've organized that little section. Everything's out on here. We've got the floor is a mess, but let's do it. We're about to head out to go and get A, but I want to show you the progress I had on this room. I know it still looks like it's full of toys and it always will, but it's looking so much better. Romy and I were just playing, but anyway, I'm feeling super accomplished and I'm ready to move on to the next room tomorrow. Romy quite enjoys helping me, so it's not too bad, but I'm about to head out and I am bringing myself a little snack don't judge me, but I'm having a gigantic carrot. Just outside Abe's school and it's raspberry season. There's loads of raspberries. And so we're just stuffing our faces. 
back from the school run and I really am not prepared for dinner. I did not manage to do a full meal plan. So I'm gonna have to do that later tonight and I haven't gone shopping. So we are working with bare minimums here. So this is my strategy. So A, I'm thinking about a starch. So I've got potatoes. So that sounds delicious. So I'm definitely gonna do some potatoes and I also want some obviously non-starchy stuff. So I see a bag of kale in here. I also see two courgettes with my name on them. Crispy courgettes, of course. I'm thinking like a big... Not your name on them. They do have mummy's name on them. They say, mummy, please eat me. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna have that. I've also got, oh, what's this? Oh, coriander, right, a kale coriander salad with some chopped up cabbage. I'm gonna do like a chickpea, almost like a chickpea Caesar dressing is kind of what I'm thinking. Yes, baby, thank you. I saved the chickpea water so I could use that for the liquid. I think that'd be quite nice because um, it give, give it like a bit of a fluffier element. Um, yes, get the broccoli out. Good idea. Let's get the cabbage out. Let's get it all out. Fantastic. Like I said, for our starchy, but we're going to have potatoes. So I've got loads and loads of potatoes that are desperate need of being used. So I'm just going to stick them in the instant pot, steam those up real quick. The babies are going to have potatoes, broccoli, and some avocado. That's kind of strategy. They've just necked some uh, soya yogurt um, that I had left over from the trip yesterday. So that was like, kind of like an interim snack for them. Um, but anyway, I think that should be pretty good. I do also have some tofu if I need to add anything else. But yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking for tonight. Super basic, but food doesn't have to be complicated. So I asked Abe if he wanted to play some games or do a workout and he said, do a workout. So we said, we're gonna do a mummy workout first and then we're gonna do a kids workout. Then we're going to crack on and make dinner and we might play some games afterwards or whilst we're eating dinner. So let's do a lovely workout. And today I'm going to try somebody a bit different. I'm going to try Heather Robertson. I think that's her name. Uh, my mum loves her and does loads of her stuff. And I'm just about to go and buy some weights so I can really start to uh, do some like proper lifting whilst I'm doing workouts. Um, but let's try Heather Robertson and see how it is. <laughs> that was one of the hardest workouts I have ever done but I loved it so much I was sweating from head to toe my back is dripping my legs are in agony and it was beautiful that was the day one of her 12 week series challenge thing I'm gonna try and do the whole 12 weeks so in go the potatoes 10 minutes in the instant pot while I prep the rest of the veggies okay so I've got loads of bits put together I've got my kale Got my tomatoes, got my purple cabbage, and I made, I wanted to have like a Caesar dressing, but using chickpeas, and I made it, but it was from the McDougall website. I kind of followed it loosely. And it said to put three tablespoons of mustard, which blows my mind. I put one tablespoon because I thought it was too much, and it's very mustardy. I'm a medium mustard person, but I fluffed it out with a bit of extra stuff, and it's actually not too bad now. Ooh, it's still a little strong, but no, it's good, it's good. Oh, oh my gosh, that's got a kick. Anyway, once I mix it in, it should be fine. Okay, so this is my gigantic crazy salad. So what have I got in here? So I've got loads of that kale with the dressing. Got my tomatoes, got my purple cabbage. I've got two crispy courgettes. I've got three potatoes. And I've got a tiny bit of avocado that my kids had left over. Um, and a sprinkle of coriander. So let's dive into this and let's see how it tastes. Let's get a little bit of crispy courgette going on. Oh my gosh. Love these courgettes. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I have been craving a massive salad like this with some cooked stuff the whole time we've been away. So I'm very, very excited about this. Still a tiny bit hungry after my salad, so I'm having an extra potato. Mm -mm -mm. Don't be afraid to go back for seconds or thirds if you think your body is actually hungry and you need it. And I've been obviously busy today, done a nice workout, so I know I definitely need it. So I know I've already done a workout today and I don't need to do any more. However, my mum and I are meant to be doing, um, and my little sister are meant to be doing, the 12 week Heather Robertson challenge together. Now they did a completely different workout, for which is the 2.0. I did 3.0. So I'm gonna be doing the 2.0 day one to see which one I like the feel of better so that we can both continue, so we can all continue um, doing the same one. So basically I'm gonna do a little workout now 
it is going to be a body push workout. It's all about those arms. So wish me luck because the last one was vicious. Um, anyway, I'm going to get into that now. And yes, I am going to be doing one of these workouts, whichever one I decide is best, every single day for 12 weeks. I think that's 60 videos, which sounds very intense. However, I'm very, very excited because I really want to build muscle. I really want to just like, you guys know. So um, sometimes you have to like, you can do things gradually and build it up in habits, but sometimes you can just say, right, I'm going to do it. And so I've kind of got that feeling. And um, hopefully if I follow a program, that is going to keep me accountable. Whereas if I just kind of like, hey, I'm just doing some random workouts, then I can kind of like skip days and miss things if I don't really fancy it. But if I know I'm following like a schedule and also the fact that I'm doing it with my mum and my sister, we're all going to stay on top of each other. So every day we're going to be like, how was your workout? How did it go? You can do it. Come on. So that level of like accountability with people is so, so, so helpful. So I'm really excited about that. So if you can get some level of accountability in your life, friends, family, just online, wherever it is, that is so, so powerful. So I'm very excited. Anyway, yay. I'm excited to like build some muscle. I've just ordered some weights. So yay. Um, anyway, I'm going to jump into this and uh, then I'll see you guys tomorrow for another lovely day.